Well, in the wake of a mass school shooting in Florida that killed 17 students, some American companies are changing their stance on gun control. And now a Canadian company is getting on board. We're outside Mountain Equipment Co-op, which is known for its outdoor gear. They don't sell guns, but today they announced that uh, sto their stores will soon stop selling five brands that are owned by an American manufactured gun manufacturing company. Yeah, I think it's great. Max strikes me as a company that kind of stands by principles. Um, so, yeah, I think that was an entirely appropriate decision. To Outside this mech in downtown Toronto, customers are welcoming the news that the company will not be renewing orders from Bolay, Bushnell, Camelback, Camp Chef, and Jimmy Stikes, all owned by Vista Outdoor. That company makes high powered rifles similar to the one used in the Florida school shooting. The decision comes after a petition with more than 50,000 signatures called on the Vancouver based company to cut ties with the gun manufacturer. In an open letter to its members, CEO David Labister writes, I've proudly served in the military and grew up in a rural area where hunting was commonplace. I can readily identify with our members who are on all sides of this debate. At the same time, my personal experience has taught me about the power of engagement. I believe that engagement is the path to change, as tough as it may be. While the statement is getting praise, many customers admit they would have likely kept spending their money at Mech either way. It doesn't quite impact my shopping. It, it impacts my political perception, I guess, of the company, but I mean, I shop here regardless. It doesn't affect me as a shopper for Mech because I've always loved Mech and it's Canadian and I always support the local economy, but I think it's a, it's a great um, statement that they're making. Um, it makes me want to come here more. One business professor at Ryerson University says it's becoming increasingly more common for companies to take a political stand on divisive issues like gun control and sometimes it's all about the bottom line. Smart businesses try to find the sweet spot which is we do what's ethical and we hope it makes some money as well. There are very few businesses that will risk um, losing market share or um, losing uh, customers. I'm pretty sure that Mountain Equipment Co-op will not lose members over this. And I am pretty sure that Mountain Equipment Co-op would not gain members by re retaining those brands. So they probably looked at that very cl closely. Now, MEC is just the latest retailer to change their stance on gun con on guns. Uh, south of the border, several companies have already stopped offering discounts to members of the National Rifle Association. And stores like Walmart and the superstore Fred Myers are banning gun sales to anyone under the age of 21. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods also doing that. And they announced they would also no longer sell assault-style rifles like the one used in the Florida massacre. Uh,